Hello all, back again. This is video number nine. Today I have decided to pull all of these trays, there's a whole bunch, some of them only have a few things in, from the so-called silver tub. So it's all these little trays we're going to try and get through. Let's go. Thank you to everyone who's been watching so far and for the comments. I hope I've been going through and trying to answer them all. So let's get in. Looks like there is just a lot of little pendants. There's a little turtle, but he's not sterling silver. I'll try and go through. Oh, this is very cool. This one's silver. It's like a little bird. That's got a name, this type of bird, and I can't think what it is. There's this pendant, which doesn't look silver to me. It looks like a little little dog. I was going to say Snoopy, but it's a different little doggy. So it looks like a lot of these are... Oh, well, I was going to say not sterling, but that one's sterling. It says dog. I expect there to be a mix of sterling and non-sterling. That one's sterling. It's hallmarked at the back. It's got lots of little hallmarks there. And there's a dragon, sterling dragon, and another dragon. Just says India on the back, that one's not silver. We've got a few dolphins, a mother of pearl one. Um, two little sterling silver fish. This looks like a lot of them are charms from bracelets. And this one, which looks gold to me. I have to have a closer look. It's a little dolphin. Now, I think that will test gold when we test it. This one's very cool. It's sterling. It's a goat, a ram. That's quite a bit larger as well. It's a little teddy bear pendant. It just says Korea. He's not a gold. A bunny. This is sterling. Yeah, I'd say, these, like I said, these are off charm bracelets. A little bee. This one's cute. It's like a little Noah's Ark. And that's a pendant marked 95. It's actually got lovely detail on it. We have a little variegated enamel fish. I don't think he's sterling. Um, a crystal little dolphin. Another little dolphin. Looks like they're in little categories in this tree. Oh, sterling dolphin. Got a sterling and um, looks like amber glass fishy. This one's lovely. Is it sterling or gold? This one's got little rubies and sapphires. There's an elephant with his little trunk up. And I'll have to have a closer look at this because this looks nice quality. And to have the nice stones in it, it might actually be white gold, that one. So I'll have a look at it. But it's very cute. Little ruby eyes as well. And then this is a little bluebird, sterling silver bluebird with enamel. It's quite a few. Wow, this one's like two the two little fishies. All sterling so far. This necklace has a sterling fish and a sterling little little hands. Doesn't that sign? Oh that sign's called. What's this one? It's not gold, it's a little jade butterfly. Another little pendant. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's a munted butterfly. It's a bit bent. Back here we've got a sterling chain with a dragonfly. A sterling dragonfly with little purple stones. We have a tortoise shell. No, not tortoise shell. Tiger's eye. Tortoise. A sterling, maybe a butterfly. Maybe it's supposed to go that way. Maybe a flower. Another butterfly that's sterling. Lots of charms, I think. This is a little pendant. It's Mark 925 on the back. It's an eagle. It's a sterling froggy earring. And a sterling sneak so that's all for that first tray there's just so many trays here it'd be good to finally have a peek in all of them oh this one's got lots of things looks like lots more charms little instrument 
This one's a sterling earring. It's got like a um, Japanese picture in it. It's a shame there's only the one. Little roller skate. Might show a few of these at a time if there's so many of them. The little charms. We've got some little bikes and like a trophy. All silver. Oh, this is lovely. Hubby will like that one. Little jet plane, honey, hubby. Honey bee, as I call him. Oh, Zersky. Um, that one's not silver. Some kind of little... It's got writing in it, like a message in a bottle on a grain of rice. Let's see what it says. I love you, if you can see it. A little grain of rice. That's just a little shoe a thong that's not sterling. But we do have, I'll grab all these out because there's, there's quite a few in this one. We've got look, sterling feet and two sterling little boots. Here we've got a little person that may have been holding on to something, but he's sterling. Oh, look at this one. He's so cute. He's got a little body that moves. Gorgy. And he's sterling too. And a little pendant here. It's like a religious one. Oops, sorry, my sleeve's coming down. And then I'll get these few out so we can have a closer look. A little cross. All sterling. This is unusual. It's marked silver. It looks like it's a part of a pendant. This one's very cool. It's an Indian. These long feathers at the back. Very cool. This one here looks like it might be gold. Maybe not. Two little kissing babies. This is that same brand I was talking about in another video. Um, that Scottish company, um, Macintosh. Macintosh sterling pieces all have this rose with this flower. You can have a look them up online. I've got quite a few pieces of theirs now. And there's another little four leaf clover, like little lucky symbols. Here, that one's not sterling, little horseshoe. These ones are, I'll just grab them all out. They must all be off bracelets, I think, she's taken them off. Might even just hold this up a bit closer and pull out little highlight pieces because there's so many. Oh no, let's just do it properly. There's a, um, a little bottle, which is really cute. It opens up. It's a really, really old one. I bet you it does it unscrew. I don't want to break it. Little bottle. And some other little more charms. Oh, it's a little abacus. That's really cool. The sterling abacus. And then a pendant. For anybody who plays tennis, there's quite a few t sterling tennis rackets. And this one's lovely. Mark Sterling. It's like a, a comb with a head on it. This isn't sterling. It looks like the blocks where they used to have their head and arms through. Got a pendant here with a piece of gold leaf in it. And then we have here a skateboard, sterling skateboard. A little boat. A deck of cards. These are all sterling. And a little spinning wheel. A sterling um, star. A heart. A little boot. It's very cute, like a little canoe. This one's lovely. It's a Wedgwood one. That marked Wedgwood? Yep. Yeah. Got all the hallmarks. Genuine Wedgwood. This is very cool. It's a bow, crossbow. And then, I don't know what this is. Another sterling charm. And we've got a few here that. Ooh, threw it off the edge that don't look sterling and there's another one of those ones with the little rice in it a few interesting different little charms this one's interesting too it looks like it could be bone or ivory 
have a closer look at it. Little charm. These ones here, which are just gold tone. There's a little hat. And a couple of little cowboy boots. And a little pyramid. This is lovely. It's enamel. It's not sterling, I don't think, that one is. I have to have a closer look at it, but I don't think it is. A Hasana hand and a little love pendant. A little temple a building. This is lovely. It's a little R. Uh, I think that's gold. I bet ya that that stamp, if I can see close enough, I bet you that this one's gold. I'll find a gold stamp on it. That's lovely. I can kind of just tell, I had someone comment on a video, sorry I can't recall what your name was, and asked how do I know things are silver or how do I know they're gold? It's, it's kind of hard to, you just, it's like saying you just, I just know. <laughs> With so many years of knowing what the colour looks like, knowing how it feels, I'm pretty good at picking now. This one that's got a little micro mosaic in it. I'm picking when something is the right colour. It's hard to teach that. I'll, I am going to do a series of videos again on identification and hopefully they will help. And also how to use um, simple tools like a magnet, etc. to um, identify things. And cute little brass cup. So that's all for that tray. So we will get onto those. It was my um, plan to do that sooner than later, but then I found this lot. So I had to do, do this first. Now a lot of these trays only have a few pieces in, so... Let's get onto this tray, see if I can get it open without them flying everywhere. We have here a Sterling Silver Mother of Pearl pendant. See, that's really pretty. That's one I would have bought individually out and about. We've got a piece of opal and a pearl that have been taken out of pieces of jewellery, which could become useful. This little Sterling and Pearl pendant. This one's just costume. I can tell before I got it out because it's got glued in stones. This one looks sterling with a pearl. This one's not sterling, just a modern costume piece but with a natural pearl and kibbe zirconias. This one is similar to the other one that we got out. It's a natural piece of um, pearl or shell but I don't think it's silver. No, it's just a costume one. Still very pretty. And this one looks to me to be gold. A gold bale with a black pearl. A little sterling and pearl pendant. So she must have had bits in here that had pearls in. Another sterling and pearl pendant. And then this last one I think is just costume. But also with a pearl. So there wasn't many in that tray. But it's good that we're going through them all because oh, this one's got a few more. Which way does this go? I probably should have made sure they were the right way in the beginning. Oh, this one's got a few more goodies. This is lovely. It's got, looks like coral and lapis in it. But it's quite pale and sterling silver. And there's this one that's got um, coral and turquoise and an amethyst, cabochon amethyst in the middle. Also sterling. We've got some little Buddhas. They might be jade and a little jade pendant and a little scarab. This is amethyst. This might be jade. We can put a light on it later and have a check of it. This one's lovely. It looks a bit like an eye with a cabochon amethyst in sterling silver and rose quartz in sterling silver. There's a couple of these um, amethyst pieces. This one's in sterling and this one's not. But nice pieces of amethyst. There's a crystal. That's not in sterling though. Another crystal in sterling silver. And in there with it is a little pendant, which this one might be gold. Looks gold to me with a little ruby. Test that. Amethyst cabochon 
pendant in sterling silver, more rose quartz in sterling, and another shell pendant sterling. This one's lovely. See, this is where I don't know what this stone is called. I'm sure there are lots of stone ladies on here that will know. It's kind of blue and shimmery. See, I would just call that a gemstone pendant if I was selling it. I don't know enough about those. Mother of Pearl and Tiger's Eye. That's really pretty. This one is aquamarine. Can't see if there's a sterling stamp on it. it looks sterling. Aquamarine pendant. But it could be white gold as well. Have a closer look up here just a costume pendant looks like doesn't look silver to me very different what do we got down here another amethyst cabochon pendant um, some more little sterling gemstone pendants oh I dropped one that one's likely come off something else it's got a little garnet in it we have some Two pieces of turquoise, and I don't know what this one on the far side is, but they're all sterling. Got two pendants back here. This one's sterling with a lapis, and then this one is it sterling? Yes, but I don't know what this is. It feels like glass to me, but it's lovely. This is a little piece of jade, and I can't read. Oh, it says silver on the back. Another little jade, little tiki or New Zealand greenstone tiki, and just another little stone pendant, not silver. This one's a brooch and a pendant, which is unusual because I don't know how you would hold that on your shirt as a brooch with that big bale on the back of it. I wonder what that symbol means, if anyone knows. A little blue stone pendant, some natural amber. Sterling pendant. It's pretty. It's been raining so much here in Perth. All day I've been wait, watching the rain and trying to run out between the rainstorms. So if you can hear the dripping, it's all the um, water dripping from the trees around me. There's some turquoise here in the middle. And then it's that same stone around the outside here that was in this pendant here. It's the same stone. But that was a lovely lot. I mean, all of these pendants are just really, really lovely. I'm going to have fun going, having a better look and going through them later and cleaning them. Ah, the cleaning. I actually really enjoy cleaning jewellery. Oh. Ooh, some nice bits in here. It's just a little ball pendant with rhinestones. It doesn't look silver to me. A little crystal pendant. It doesn't look silver. This one's sterling. And a nice big sterling chain. Marked Italy. It's a... Um, got an amethyst crystal it's not genuine amethyst just amethyst colored crystal so that's lovely this is interesting it's marked bh925 i don't know what that symbol is on the back or if anyone knows this maker it's a very pretty piece I and mean, this is dirty as right now it's got enamel around here green enamel and then blue and clear stones but this would clean up amazing We've got a few little crystal pendants and this is just a little crystal pendant too just costume ones a few little costume baubles that's so shimmery a little girl would love that on a necklace uh, i don't think that one's sterling it might be but it might be very very new i can't see a shimmery pendant and another one in the purple and this one's silver just got a big cubic zirconia nicely cut though we have another pendant i don't think this one's sterling stone that's really dirty this one looks sterling to me again filthy it would come up amazing with a clean just a little costume pendant this one's lovely, it's sterling. Got a really big stone, but absolutely filthy stone. But nice setting. Looks like a handmade setting. And it is marked on the back um, with a maker. AKT. Is it 
Hey Katie or ART Art925. That will come up stunning. And it's cleaned. This one's really interesting too. Max Sterling. Very modernist design. And the last one in this tray is this little sterling one with gemstones. It does have kind of a maker's a mark down there. I don't know who that maker is. Okay, so that was it for that tray. The next two trays don't have, I was going to say don't have very many pieces, but yes they do. <laughs> More pendants. Let's start from one side. Oh, this is a um, pearl, a natural pearl that's come out of something, but it's good to keep those pieces so you can repair. A big sterling and mother of pearl heart pendant. A power shell and sterling pendant. A mother of pearl little pendant. This one's shell and sterling. Mother of pearl and sterling. Oh my god, the amount of these I've bought over the <laughs> last few months. I love them. And this is one is shell with sterling. It's pink um dyed pink shell. Another shell and sterling pendant. This one is a little box, I believe. I don't want to break it trying to open it. Does it go like that? Or do you just... Oh, like that. Oh, that's so cute. It's very sweet. Very old little box. Sweet. Another little shell sterling pendant. This one's lovely. Mother of Pearl. And sterling. Another, this one's got, um, it's a shell or, or power shell, but they've put resin over the top of it. And that's got a, it's not a sterling chain, but it's a sterling pendant. A really big um, shell pendant, sterling silver. A shell earring, sterling silver. And then a couple of gemstone pendants. Not oh, shell, not much shell. We're still going. We get through them. These last two only had a few. That's why I added them in. It's literally like, look, she had all these trays, but with like nothing in them. In here, it looks like we have some padlocks. So we have a little sterling padlock. This one, I don't know if it's gold or silver. I'll have a closer look after. Uh, this one's a lovely sterling pendant with the heart. Let's see, it's like cut. It's silver pendant. A silver padlock. See, we can use this on a necklace or a bracelet. Some more silver charms. And then these look like they're just gemstone, they're not gold or anything. And then we've got a couple more padlocks. We've got a little sterling silver heart, a sterling or a gold filled, I think that is. Oh no, it's nine karat gold. That one. And this one, it looks like a gold filled locket. Last tray. Last pieces for today. Let's have a look. We've got a little opal pendant. Let's see if that's gold. That, as I say, it looks gold, but I don't know. We will test it. A little costume pendant. This is lovely. It's got inlaid um, three leaf and four leaf clover. That's pretty. A little clog. Some random goodness. Some little beads they're not silver or anything it's very random this lot and a random bead and these some just some other random bits too so nothing too exciting in there so that was our lot for today it's really good to actually be going through the silver box and that we can now go through all of this and sort it out properly thank you so much for watching and going through the series with me um i will be doing a video this week and i think i spoke about it in the couple of videos ago that my new ebay store will be opening on the 1st of july and that i have actually um, if you follow me on instagram you'll see the tray of items that will be the first pieces listed i've got 25 pieces that i'll be putting up this weekend to start with the to um, go live on the 1st of july thank you so much for watching and um yeah that's all i can say follow me on instagram and facebook and i will see you in the next video Bye.